Hello guys, good day, my beautiful people. It's your get you living signature. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Thank you, friends, for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your likes, your view, sharing on my video. Thank you all. But please, if you are new to my channel, please, please, please click on the notification subscribe button there sorry and also click on the notification button so that anytime we upload a new video you will get notified please 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 i love you all. god bless you all thank you all friends so your bust measurement your waist and your hip and your bust pan what is your bust pan your bust pan is your, the distance between your one nipple toe and other so now we are done with this so we we'll quickly have to Place our measurement. So, guys, let's get started. Now, we'll come to our waistline. We'll place it. Uh, the waistline, the bust part of is 8 inches, like what I said, is into fold. It's only your shoulder measurement to divide by 2. Shoulder is 2, two parts, 8 inches. Watch and find to your fabric add an half inch for your half old line or your soil. Half old depth is the distance uh, is your shoulder divided by two. Before then you place your neckline. Neck the neck measurement you're working with three inches with and the depth three and a half inches. So you slant to the take your stretch below. Sorry guys, I don't know if you guys can see it. My eyes are stretching me, so I've done that. So how do you place a perfect neckline? So you remember, it's three inches we are working with. You will come here, three inches, three inches. Sorry, three inches. See, guys, you connect this way in case you don't have your curve, your neckline curve. So not this way. You will come up here by one inch. See? You connect it. You blend it. You not all you use your curve. It's still the same thing, guys. See? See the same thing. Just connect it. Blend it. If you don't have this, go upward by one inch. The back side, while working with back side, the, because I want to drag both the back, but I will transfer it to the back uh, panel. So we come, we are working with one an inch. We can work after stitching to be give it will be one and a half inch. So you go upward by an half inch. You blend it if you don't have your. If you have it, just quickly place it, see it, guys. See, it's very simple. Sorry, guys. So, this you blend it so your neck, back neck is ready. So, when you're done with that, you will come to your arm or depth or your arm or line is eight inches, which is into two. Is four inches. So when you come, to, when you have um, define your midpoint for your neck, the uh, arm or depth, you go inward by one inch. Because can you see what I'm wearing? I don't know if you guys can see it. See, it's sitting properly. To avoid that problem after fixing your sleeve. So, you guys can see. And you see, guys. Okay, so one inch. If you don't have your ruler, like you saw your hand or curve, go upward. You connect. You can actually drop this perfectly free and can you see? It's beautiful. Then you blend it, guys. See? Blend it. If you have your arm or curve, quickly, if you don't have, you can do it freehand. See? You can do it. Come this way. You 
Can you see how our arm oil is looking pretty already? Looking pretty already, guys. Mm -hmm. So, our, our arm oil is ready. So, but on the back side, guys, you draft straight. See how you go about it. You don't go in because it's in front and all. This is the back neckline. Why this is the front neck depth? So front, back. So now we'll quickly go to our waistline to place our darts. So the uh, boss plan we're working with is eight inches. In two fold is four inches. In two fold. Four inches down to your waistline. So you take your straight line ruler and connect. So from your bust point, you will come down by an inch. You can come down by an half inch, you can come down by it stays the same. You create your that. But the waistline. It's one inch for both that and half inch here and half inch here. Take your stretch ruler to connect. Place it properly. Sorry guys. So see. Connect it straight to your hip line. Straight to your hip line. So I don't wait that. This is the that the post point. It came down by an inch. So it's time to place our bust here, circumference. That's the round bust here measurement. The round the bust measurement I'm working with is here, 42. Both is only shoulder that is being divided by two, being shared into two, two parts. But your bust, your waist, and hip is into four parts. So we are working with the bust measurement of uh, 42, which is uh, 10.5, 10 and a half inches. So you place it here. Your bust line controls the uh, your arm hole. Your waistline, the waistline we are working with is um, 37. I work with this. So. So it's gently, 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 so guys, it's so pretty convenient looking, so don't blend it, blend it together, blend it properly, take your time, blend it properly. So we are done with this, so this is the body, standard body measurement we are working with, but now the that if you are transferring your fabric, ensure you break. Add because here you're eliminating here, it's going off, you're eliminating here, you are sewing it out. So you have to replace it, place your same allowance. Yes, so let's quickly place our side there. That you will come. How do you know the midpoint for your side? That is distant between your upper chest to your waist uh, line eight and a half inch is what you have here that is four and uh, two bars can you guys see it four and two bars so indicate you step out by an half inch to be able to indicate it so from the boss point you step out by one inch then you connect guys okay. So you still take remove the take some um, uh, that you use here, which is half inch here, half inch here, yeah. So connect to that one inch. That is step up. So can you guess? Can you part half inch here and half inch here. You add it. Extend it, yes. You add your half inch, same allowance. Can you guys see? You come this way, also add your 
half inch same allowance same allowance but for the dart replacement how do you place your dart you come to the waist it's whatever you remove whatever you eliminate is what you should place back you remember we use an inch here here is one inch place it back here we didn't remove anything so connect it this way connect it i didn't want to touch it up so that you guys can understand remember we didn't remove anything here straight to your I just pinching so okay. when you are done with that your same allowance you can use as a beginner you can use up to three inches but here yeah, I want to place two inches and also show you guys same allowance same allowance so you connect guys see take your straight ruler take your straight ruler and you can use your straight ruler and connect that. Let me even do that so that you can see. So, that replacement is what you remove. You must replace it because it's going in. Try to know how to fit your standard body measurement. So this is replace that replacement. Let me put it right there so you can see it. Sorry. This is the bust line. Now you guys see it. This is the waist line. Yeah, hip line. This is your shoulder. Can you guys see? This is that replacement. I have seen my mouse. So, guys, we have to quickly cut it out and transfer to the bag. Eh? But it's because we needed space. Yes, an allowance for the zipper. So I'll quickly take But now we have to extend this. Don't forget that. Extend this. I didn't do that because I not add uh, my dash replacement then. So when you add that to make sure you place it, go up one. So you connect it. Connect it. So this, all these are going off. This is going off. So this is it. Yeah. So let's quickly cut that. Why cutting our cutting from the back side? So I can really transfer it to our back. So we're not cutting the, the front neck, neck depth. So let's see this way. Let's see guys. Remember, uh, join the allowance to the panel. So, see, I had to follow that same allowance. Yes. Yes. Can you see? When you get to this point, you'll be able to get your side back. So, guys. Our fruit is looking already. So, can you see? So, see how fruit is looking after stitching. Why stitching? You maintain this line. If you don't want to add your um, same allowance here, add it to your fabric. That body that has seen that placement and your same allowance. But on this side that I've removed it, the back doesn't need it. So let me quickly remove it from the front and let's put it on the back side. So now we have to, sorry, before I do that, we have to place our front 
bodies to the back side to press it. Now I want to pull see straight to your neckline. Yeah. See it. So see, look at the waistline, look at the bust line. So remove the front bodies. Follow the line. This is the waist. That why this is the down part is the hip half inch. So this is the back. When you are done, you can send your in. But for the back side, guys, the waistline you use for the front side, the front panel is not what you use at the back side. The reason it is that after fixing your zipper, your zipper, yes, we sit properly. I don't know if you guys now, you guys now notice where um, some dresses will say that the zipper at the back is folded. Because they use the exact waistline used at the front the front panel with the draft at the back panel. Meanwhile, the back is not busty. So let me show you guys. You will go upward by one inch. If this does not affect your neck, you only control whilst attaching your zipper. You will take it over. See guys. Sorry. Can you see? It's just a bit slant. It's still your waistline. Just for the back side because the back is not busty. So that by the time it fits your zipper, it will sit properly. Yes. So now I want to place our waist that is four inches. If you are drafting that to your, back, uh, your, to your fabric, it should be four and a half inches. If it's five inches, it should be five and a half inches. For your stitches, that half inch for both is one inch for stitches. So quickly take our stretch ruler, join it through. Okay, there. Wow. So I've done that. So now to place our waist that. Remember what you use on the front half here, half here. From down about half inch. They connect. So. Connect. Then straight to your hip line. Straight to your hip line. So this is our back, eh? our back it, uh, that is ready. So from your new waistline from the back side, while facing your zipper, you will go inward by an half inch. Look at what you do, guys. Why is it you stitch, 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 stitch? When you get to your Boss point, space land, space land, because your back is deep. See, can you see? Can you see? So that your zipper will sit eh? properly, guys. Yes. Just blend it. So, why like this? This zipper allowance. Okay, let me fold it in so you guys can see me. I put this looking already. And for the zipper now. Let me send it in. Let's see, guys. Let me see. Goes in. This is the new waistline on the back. Eh? But this is your new waist. Line. Don't affect your legs. Look at it. You just blend it. It's a bit slanted down. So that your zipper will sit up. That is just the sense of that. So guys, our basic eh, flat body pattern is ready. See, 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 see. You got the zipper allowance here. You got the front here. Can you see? Can you see guys? 
Yeah, can you see? It's looking pretty. See, 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 see. So all the that that replacement, y'all. Same alas. Yeah, the netting these are going off. These they are going off. I will replace it from the back side. So it's already added here. So guys, if you enjoy my video, please, please, please click on the like button there. Yeah. I comment or like me that you enjoy my video and please share my video please also if you are new to my channel please click on this